Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so, I, this is about my fifth time, about fifth time trying to cover this program. My whole morning has been nothing but technical difficulties because things just don't want to cooperate with me. So, let's hope that the fifth time is the charm. Hopefully, we get it with 2.5 special program. So, if you could do me the huge favor of hitting that like and subscribe button. Uh, hitting that notification bell so you'll be informed anytime I go live or um, um, upload any new content. Please hit that notification bell if that is what you want from me. And lastly, share this with your friends and get in the comments about what you are looking forward to about 2.5 and even what's going on in 2.6, which we'll get to later. So, like I said, Hit that like button at the very least. It helps me out. I mean, after these technical difficulties, I would 100% appreciate if you at least hit that like button. So let's get into this. 2.5 is going to be, uh, looks like, could be taking a good chunk of the time taking place in Economia. At, the, at least that's how it appears. We see the, um, the big... Um, structure that holds the thing that produces either light or darkness in Economia. And also, as we see here, we have the uh, the Flaming Abyss Herald, who um, we saw when we were doing the initial Economia quest. From what it appears, we're going to have to be teaming up with him in order to solve whatever, I guess, is going on over here. As we can see... Uh, New enemies, uh, they're called Husks. There's a Flaming, Hydro, and Cryo one. The Cryo one's the one with the bow. And as you can see here, there is a, some really interesting stuff going on with the, um, the structure in the middle. But there are other things to look forward to in 2.5. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. It's right about here. As we can see, I am the everlasting Lord, the guardian of eternity. The Raiden Shogun is going to be a boss Perish. in 2.5. And she looks absolutely great. So we'll cover a bit more of that. Let's see if we can find... Oh, here, 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 here. So, in 2.5, we are going to have Ye Miko as the first event banner character. So we will not have to wait long in order to get Ye Miko. Literally, when 2.5 drops, Ye Miko will be the... Initial character, the initial five star character banner. Then, in the second half of 2.5, we're going to get Raiden Shogun, who is a great character, and at the same time, Kokumi, who is an alright character. Um, especially with the clamps. If you got if you decide to go for Kokumi, I 100 percent encourage you to go for the clam set, because the clam set increases her value overall. Raiden Shogun is a spectacular character. If I had to pick which one I would recommend, it would be definitely 100% Raiden Shogun. So, as the event goes on, we now have a look at the Kagura's Verity. This is going to be the five-star weapon that's going to be going on alongside Yamiko. So, I'm fairly certain that when it comes to Hey, what's best in software, yay, Miko? It's probably going to be this weapon. So, let's continue forward. Right about here. We get a look at yay, Miko here. So, yay, Miko, this is her skill and this is her alt. Um, it, in the gameplay, it does show how her abilities particularly work. 
So. Yakan evocation, Satio, These Sakura, little pillar things. Game Miko leaves them behind Satio, as she. Sakura. Basically, her skill Satio, allows her to do a dash. And then when she Sakura. does the dash, it creates Amigo these pillars. Unleashes her elemental burst, great secret art, Tenko Kenshin. She will unseal nearby Seishio Sakura, destroying their outer forms and transforming them into Tenko Thunderbolts that descend from the skies. With her passive talent... So, what the character is saying, uh, the voice actress, what the voice actress is saying is that when Yamiko does her skill, she's going to leave behind these little pillars. And they're going to do electro damage to any enemies nearby. She can, From what I've seen here, she can create three of them. She does a little dash and leaves behind the pillars. Now, when she activates her burst, um, it will strike lightning on down on top of the enemy. If there are no pillars, there's only going to be one lightning strike. If there are multiple pillars, like let's say you have the max, which is three, there will be one big lightning ball from the initial uh, damage of the old, but it will consume all three little pillars and do three consecutive lightning strikes afterwards. So there'll be one lightning strike and then three more. So our gameplay is really going to make you go back and forth between creating the uh, pillars and then bam, doing her alt. So that way you can do more damage with her alt, with the pillars. So now we're going to go into the story. With the story... This is very similar to Zhang Li's quest when we first uh, did, got Azdaha as a boss battle. Um, remember, that was an Act 2 of Zhang Li's story quest. So, this is going to play out kind of similarly. We're going to have Raiden Shogun's Act 2, and it's going to lead us to having a boss battle that's going to stay in the game where we fight what looks like to be Raiden Shogun herself. Um, then, after we complete that quest, we will then have access to Gay Miko's Act 1 quest, Divina Vulpus. So, I see this, this is very similar to Zhang Li, and that's how I viewed it. It's, I mean, literally, we got a boss battle from Zhang Li's Act 2. We're getting a boss battle from Raiden Shogun's Act 2. So. Let's continue forward, and then we get some gameplay here of this. So it does look like a really interesting boss battle. As we can see, we get another good look at her right here. She looks pretty badass. And then we get a look at the husk enemies. Let's see if I can get any gameplay of it. Uh, here we go. Character who's protected by a shield. It will create shields for itself and other shadowy husk monsters nearby. Okay, now that's interesting. I have a feeling we're gonna need to come up with some new strategies to handle these bad guys. Yeah, we've covered a lot of content so far, so while we come up with some strategies, maybe we should take another break and... Yeah, those are the husk guys. The flaming one has a banner that, as you heard, they create shields. Um, the hydra one has a javelin, and the cryo one has a bow. So they employ different, looks like, employ different strategies. So in this last one here, this last bit, here we go. <laughs> We're gonna this this covers the events 
Uh, looks like we're going to have an event called Three Realms Gateway Offering. It's an event that takes place on Inconomia. So they are investing more in making sure things do happen in Inconomia. I mean, that would make sense since Inconomia is, taking, is a permanent feature in the game. Thank goodness. But from what we see, uh, we are going to get Primo Gens. We are going to get a Crown of Insights and other materials. We are going to get a new Catalyst along with its refinement material. So... This is going to be an event that's definitely worth doing, and it looks like it does look fun because it involves taking on enemies while, while collecting certain buffs to be able to do damage to enemies. Um, this next event is called Divine Ingenuity. It's basically, think Super Mario Maker. You create a platforming style track to challenge yourself or your friends or even other people doesn't matter who. And the challenge that you create involves a platforming race. Like while, while you're doing it, you collect coins. And then basically you want to get from beginning to end while collecting as many coins as you can. And uh, it's like I said, it's very similar to Super Mario Maker. And, and what I mean by that is not just because you're creating a platforming style racetrack. It's um, in order to put it out there for other people to play or try, Super Mario Maker did the this, this, this same thing. Whereas you, when you before you put it out there, you have to play and beat your own track, your own platforming style race track. Because obviously, I mean, and this was this was kind of common sense when you understood the rule, which is. If you want, uh, it's you. It's got to at least be completable. It's it, you got to be able to actually complete the challenge. You can't put out something super hard, and if you can't do it yourself, so it, this is literally Super Mario Maker the event in Genshin Impact. All right, and then we have this other event. This other event involves doing going to Deluxe Bar and basically creating mixed drinks for characters in Genshin Impact. And it looks okay. Um, it's not anything that's going to wow you. I mean, you do get a, an event uh, name card from it and some Primo Gems. But nothing too spectacular. I mean, as you can see here, you're literally creating drinks. I mean, literally. <laughs> um... So in this next event, we have the, uh, Mr. I think, where's it at? Where's that? The Hanukuni Iki, that's making a return. We last saw that whenever roughly Gitchin, uh, Gitchin Impact put Inozuma in the game. Not a bad event, but here's the big kicker. Let me see if I can find it here. Where's it at? There it is. We've been waiting for this ever since we saw it in the corner of the map. The chasm. In two, this is a sneak peek of what's coming in 2.6. The chasm is making its debut. Ever since we saw it in the corner of the map, the chasm is coming to Genshin Impact. It's making its debut. And as you can see, it's got this old mine-looking area. It looks very unique. They show other screenshots, too. We see the underground mines, literally called the underground mines. And then we also get a sneak peek of a new type of enemy called the Ruin Serpent, which looks like a huge-ass ruin-style type snake-like creature. And then they even show more screenshots of it. This is more of a long view of it. Side view, back view. Very interesting enemy. And then another thing that they're, they revealed, I don't have the picture on me right now. Um, um, is that they did also announce Ayato. You can go to Twitter and look up Genshin Impact 
On their official Twitter page, you will see Ayato. He's holding like this hydro-like sword. And what I was thinking was, is that maybe he's kind of like riding Shogun, where he's actually one, he's actually one certain type of uh, weapon, like let's say spear, bow, what have you. But when he activates his alt, he pulls out a, his hydro hydro sword. So that would be very make him very similar to Raiden Shogun. But I feel like that hot this like that water katana will come into play somehow. So that's that. Um, my thoughts on two point five is that it looks front loaded. It looks front loaded big time. Yeah. Two story missions, along with what's going on in Inkonomiya, a boss battle. So I feel like they put a lot of content in, content in it that will satisfy us for at least maybe two to three weeks, depending on how fast you play through shit. Um, but it does look front loaded, which makes me concerned for the back half of. 2.5 because the other events for 2.5 do not look very awe inspiring especially the bar the bar like the bar event it doesn't it doesn't look interesting at all to me and then i'm just being honest but 2.6 does look like it's bringing some interesting stuff we got ayato we got the chasm we got what we've seen new enemies in the chasm. So 2.6 looks really good. And 2.5, it does look good, but it looks front loaded. So those are my thoughts. Head down, uh, head down to the comments. Let me know what you think about 2.5 and what your expectations are for 2.6. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button, and I will catch you guys later.